Today we're talking about Puma's new trail shoe, the Voyage Nitro. This year Puma have made their re-emergence into the technical running space after a long and mediocre period since their last a hot running brand. Their new Nitro range features their pinnacle running product and this, the Voyage Nitro, is the latest addition to this range. So let me give you a rundown of this product. Alright, so as you can see, the Voyage Nitro is a well-cushioned trail shoe. I call it a door to trail shoe as it's not the most nimble or technically orientated shoe but certainly has its place in the market as a general off-roader. It's designed for light trail, jeep track or to take you from the front door of your home on the road to your trails. The Voyage Nitro reminds me of the old Sockney Exodus ISO 3 in that it's quite a chunky shoe. Its weight is pretty standard for a shoe of its category but it does have quite a chunky heel compared with other similar shoes. Its midsole doesn't have a rock plate or any protective filming to provide you protection against sharp rocks and the gnarly elements of the trail, but its well-stacked frame should suffice in protecting your foot alongside this thick layer of Puma Grip rubber. In terms of the tech that goes into the shoe, Puma have combined two foams in the midsole. Firstly, they use their Nitro Foam, which is nitrogen infused to be nice and soft and bouncy. This foam has worked very nicely on their road shoes. And then they've supplemented this with a firmer foam, a foam they call Pro Foam Light, which is a bit firmer and a bit more resilient, which is quite important in a trail shoe. Now, the shape of the shoe is obviously designed for comfort and protection, so it does have a slightly bulky frame. And the downside is, uh, of this is that if you are a mountain goat looking to dance your way through the trails, the shoe might be a bit bulky. The upper on a trail shoe is always vital, and as you can see, Puma have gone for a low cut booty fit over here. This tends to be risky on any shoe as it tends to scare your traditional runners away, but it does work nicely and gives your foot a good lockdown. It also gives the shoe a nice premium feel while serving the purpose of preventing debris from getting inside your shoe while out on the trails. This booty fit does take away some of the volume inside your shoe to give you a nice snug lockdown. So keep that in mind if you do have a slightly wider foot. I also found that the shoe runs half a size bigger compared with the traditional Puma fit and compared with other brands. Up at the front of the shoe we have a toe bumper over here which isn't as constructed as you'd think it would be for a trail shoe, but it goes back to what I said about the shoe being a door to trail shoe as opposed to a hardcore trail shoe with hardcore features. To complete the upper, we have a nice heel counter over here. On a scale of Asics Jolkayana 27 heel counter construction to Vivo Barefoot, it probably lies right in the middle in that it is as constructed as you need it to be without being rigid. It's still nice and padded and comfortable. We also have a heel tab at the back here which helps you uh, put your uh, foot into the shoe and then a bottom heel tab which is kind of pointless in terms of function but it does add to the shoe's aesthetic. So overall the Puma Voyage Nitro is a comfy shoe. I particularly like walking in it and using it for daily use but it's not my go-to trail shoe as it doesn't tick the boxes I personally look for in a trail shoe. As I mentioned, it's a door to trail shoe. It's not made for Killian Journey styled running. But if you do look for a well cushioned shoe and run on light trail, this is where it's gonna be performing best. And lastly, I think Puma deserve a lot of credit as it's a lot more difficult for an established brand to regain a consumer's trust than it is for a new brand like Hoka to gain a consumer's trust for the first time. So Puma are re-entering the running market the right way. Give my channel a like and let's chat about running shoes. Until next time, cheers.